All right guys, so it's going to be a pretty busy day. Um, I'm doing some editing right now in the office. What I'm gonna do is actually have Eddie go ahead and prep the driver's side of the Mustang. So once this is prepped, um, I'll go ahead and come outside. We'll go ahead and cut everything out, measure everything, make sure everything is precise, and then pretty much we will be going from there. All right guys, so now that the quarter panel and everything is pretty much ready to go, um, I'm going to go ahead and throw on the main piece. We'll do some measuring. We'll get the door cut out from the quarter panel. And the first thing that we'll be wrapping is the quarter panel. So once the quarter panel is finished up, we'll go ahead and move on to the door. Um, Eddie and Mark are on bumpers right now. So Eddie's finishing up the inlays on the front bumper uh, while Marco pretty much preps the rear bumper set this so we get that one wrapped in chrome. Front bumper will be yellow because that's part of the design. So pretty much um, the only thing that's pretty much left to be wrapped in chrome is this whole side. We have the rear bumper and then just the two fender flares. I have the passenger side done already. Um, I didn't record that just because I kind of wanted to get familiar with chrome again. Um, it's not very often that I get to do it, so I kind of just have to relearn it. I'd rather do that versus messing up a big piece. But yeah, I'm gonna set you guys my tripod. We'll do one final wipe down, get the uh, material cut out, and we'll go ahead and start wrapping. All right guys, so now that the quarter panel and then the driver door is all finished up in the chrome, um, this is what the color like base will be on as far as the theme. So we're gonna be doing the yellow, obviously to match the uh, roll cage inside of the car. But the exact design that we're going to be throwing on the car is actually based off of the Falcon Drift car, which is the Mustang. So it's going to have the stripes on the door going up the quarter panel. But um, next thing to be wrapped in the chrome is going to be the rear fender flare. So these are actually gonna be quite tricky since they come out to like right here. But yeah, so this is going to take me about an hour or two, depending on how many inlays I have to do, or if I'm able to get it all done in one, or if everything just goes the correct way. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, charge my batteries, just so that this way when we do the actual livery or the actual theme, I can go ahead and record that for you guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and charge my batteries, um, do the flares while everything charges, and yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Thank you. 
What is up you guys? So we've been really, really busy getting the Mustang together. I have the owner of the Mustang right here with me. Sean, what's up, brother? What's up everybody, how you doing? So, we have the uh, Mustang pretty much all put together. It looks super good. Um, I will save this side actually so that this way I can go ahead and show you guys. So, I have the design pretty much cut out. We're going to go ahead and throw it on real quick. Put you guys on the tripod and let's get this one done. What is up you guys? Had to uh, stop and actually make this little video for you guys so that this way you guys can kind of understand with what's going on. Um, when I was actually wrapping the Mustang, I had ran out of data with my, here comes my puppy. <laughs> um, I had ran out of data on my hard drive, not my hard drive, my stupid uh, SD card and I wasn't able to go ahead and record a majority of what was done so it was kind of limited with what I showed you guys. Um, the last clip of the Mustang actually pulling out, that was from my phone so I had already ran out of data unfortunately. So. Basically, I just kind of wanted input on the owner's um, pretty much say about the Mustang. The car will be in SEMA 2019, so about two weeks from now. And yeah, I'm very excited for the car as well the owner. Um, he did have some kind things to say, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in the video right here. Creative Auto Designing, um, Samson, this man, single man army, rocket ship, dude's a beast. I messaged him at midnight and I said I need a rap. I thought it was going to be some really cocky YouTuber. I was like, okay, you know, it's probably gonna highball me like no one's business. You know, he came back, approached me with so much respect and just being so down to earth and being really part of, you know, just an enthusiast, wanted to help me out, etc., etc. The next day, my whole family was outside the shop, about 89 miles from my house, and I was dropping in the keys to my car, and I was like, listen up, here you go. She doesn't, she only stays at one shop that stays in performance. I've trusted that man with my life, so. If there are the keys to my car, please, please, please be really careful. There's no problems. Parked the car, boom, knocked it out of the park. You know, really pleased, really happy. So now that you guys seen what he had to say, um, I'm truly appreciate it, Sean, if you guys are watching this. Um, the family, huge shout out to you guys, very, very kind. And I will see you guys in a couple of days, actually. And I'm expecting some really, really good Indian food. But other than that, guys, um, this is going to be it for the vlog. I'll go ahead, I'll, ugh, can't even talk. I'll go ahead and keep you guys updated with the car. As I said, I'll be over at their house in a couple of days. We're going to go ahead and actually be wrapping his brother's Mustang, who has another wide body. Um, as I said, the car will be in SEMA as well, his brother. So we're going to go ahead and make another vlog out there in Oceanside for you guys. And yeah, this is what I have in shop for right now. I have a boosted uh, wide body FRS. I have a Hellcat back there. But super busy as you guys can see. Um, I know I haven't uploaded in about two months or so, so I've been super busy, like you guys just don't understand. But thankfully I'm proud and happy to say that I'm call, all caught up to where I can actually keep you guys updated with what's going on in shop. But other than that guys, stay tuned for the next vlog. That's going to be it for this one. Um, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>